Sriracha. What is sriracha? Have a guess. Um, chili. Chili, yes, a chili sauce. So it's like an Asian based chili sauce, and this is sriracha here. So it's uh, nice and sweet. Clears um, the uh, sinuses. And clears the sinuses, sinuses. makes your uh, eyes tingle. And a little bit of heat in there as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to mix it with honey and lime, and that's going to balance out that heat, give us a nice bit of sweetness. We'll marinate the chicken, we'll grill it on our griddle pan, and then we're going to do a really fast uh, stir fry vegetables to go oh, with it and yeah. show how easy that is. Where do we start? Right, first of all, we need to make a marinade. So we're going to be working with honey today. So sometimes, especially this time of year, you know, you get the honey from the shelf. Honey. It's all set. Honey. Honey. So it's a special <laughs> type of honey. Honey <laughs> lives up north. Honey we're using in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So right. this time of year, you, you can see, you know, it's, I mean, it's warmed up a little bit because it's under the studio lights. But then if you yep. just, you know, take it out of your pantry, it is quite hard sometimes. You know, is it true that honey lasts forever? Like it doesn't go off? Well, no, it's just like pretty much, yeah. High content of sugar in it. Love that. You can you can do that. You can yeah, keep it forever if it lasts forever. Well, no, it wouldn't in my would be house because I just sort of get in there like Winnie the Pooh with a big spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a little tip for you. You know, you put it in the bowl, put the honey in first, and yep. just put it over a bain marie, which is just a, a pot of simmering water, a warm yep. water. The bowl goes over, and it will just heat that honey up, and it will just make it a little bit easier to mix all your marinade. In. So what we're kind of looking for in there is just a couple of bubbles coming up, right? And not yeah, yeah. Just just to loosen it. Ferocious. You, no. Yeah. 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 From from the bottom, you know, you don't need it too hot, or you can, you know, you can put it in the microwave if you want, you know, whatever you want. Cool. Um, so that's melting down now. Right, we're going to get some ginger. So you get a really good tip for peeling ginger. Yeah, we did this. We did this before. So you get this. You get the side of your spoon, and you get your knob of ginger, and then you just scrape the skin off. Too easy. I end up cutting half of the skin away, and then I've got nothing left, and this tiny little stick of ginger, <laughs> and I've p paid a fortune for it, and, and then can't use that, half of it. So I'm going to use that now. I'm very impressed with that, that. That's what I normally do, and then I get moaned out for wastage. <laughs> but we don't waste it. We make we keep it, oh. and then we put it in a master stock. Love it. Right. So we've got some ginger. See, see the honey's melting now, right? Yep. You can you can do something. You can uh, grate the ginger into there. Okay. The you whole get, thing. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Minding Get, fingers, of course. Yeah, obviously, mind your fingers. Knowing uh, me. So it's a really good way of um, getting flavour from ginger and garlic is, is to grate it. You can yep. crush it, you can chop it, you know, you don't have to grate it, but this is, a, a, you know, a fast way of doing it. I must say this is a bit fancier than Nana's old triangle grater that we used for years. <laughs> you could use one of those if you wanted. Uh, we're going to do the same with some garlic cloves. So I've got four garlic cloves here. Mm. And we're going to do the same with a, a lime zest as well. So we've got one uh, lime, which we're going to zest straight into there. Yep. And then I'm going to put the juice of two limes. I'm a bit worried I'm getting there. close to my fingers. Yeah, if it gets a little bit close, you know, flip it around to like a, a bigger side. Uh, and then when it gets bigger really side. small, yep. keep that, chuck it in the freezer, and then use it for a master stock. Excellent. You notice I've got about 17 litres of master stock in my <laughs> freezer at home. All <laughs> of the leftovers. Else, yeah. Nice. Um, so what else have we got? Garlic and lime zest and juice. Yeah, zest and juice. And uh, you know we're going to use coriander in this recipe as well. So we're going to use a little bit of the leaves for the garnish at the end and a little bit for the stir fry. But if you've got these nice um, stalks here, if you don't want to put them through your, your vegetables, you know, just chop them up and put them in your marinade as well. Yep. And the roots as well. If you clean the roots and then chop them up, it just gives you a really good... Coriander sort of, roots? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I've never done that before. I've got some uh, soy sauce going in there Yum. as well. And of course, the uh, star ingredient, the sriracha, sriracha. sauce. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if you like it spicy, you can always add a little bit more. Yum. If you don't like it too spicy, uh, you know, just don't put it in at all. Do I need to be doing this garlic as well? Yes. Great. Okay. So the garlic goes in there, zest goes in there, I'm going to put the juice in there, mix it all around, you know, get a really good taste, and then we're going to put that over the chicken. So we've got beautiful chicken thigh here, skin's been taken off, the bone's uh, out of there as well. You yep. can chop it up into small pieces and skewer it if you want, or you can leave it whole. So I'm going to leave these whole. Awesome. And then we'll kill them up, we'll marinate them for about six hours, we'll kill them up, and then we can cook them. But right now, we need to finish up these skewers, these sriracha skewers with you, Mark. What are we going to do now? All right, so we've got the marinade here. So beautiful, really fresh with the lime. You've got the juice in there, the zest. We've got the sweetness from the honey and, of course, that tang and that sharpness and spiciness mm. from the sriracha. Right, so marinade over to your chicken. So I'm going to reserve a little bit for the end. So you can serve a little bit on the side or we can brush it as we're um, grilling the um, oh, great. So uh, skewers. So a always save a little bit. What is the brushing? Is that just sort of adding another layer of flavour while you're doing it? Yeah, it? And, and freshness as well. Because yep. you imagine it's going to, all the flavours are going to go into the chicken and you're going to caramelise it. The, the honey in there is going to help caramelise it. So you're going to end up with a different flavour of the mm. marinade. You know, a really sort of deep, dark, um, 
you know, rich flavour, and then that will just freshen it up at the end. Honestly, if you could smell this, it is just delicious. I know I say this a lot because I'm just really into food. I tend to like to eat a lot. <laughs> Right, so ideally <laughs> about six hours in the fridge overnight if you've got the time. Um, we haven't now, so we're just going to pretend. And then what you can do is, um, I'm going to give you the skewers cool. and you can skewer these. So a good idea to do it is fold it over so it's nice and chunky. Yep. And then you can either put two skewers through right. so it holds it. So we want to make we'll sure that it. it's not sort of splayed out. We're not, uh, you know, espalieting our chicken. We want to... It, it's entirely up to you. I mean, I like to cook it in a, you know, as we fold it over here so we can cook yep. it all around the sides, get that caramelisation, okay. and then it's nice and juicy. And then in the just straight through the guts like this? Yeah, straight through the okay. guts. And you, you know, myself. Yeah, just, just be careful you don't... Do I do uh, a couple of skewers through there? Yeah, if, it's, if you're going to use a whole chicken thigh, uh, yep. do a couple of skewers, and that's just going to hold it into place. Why are we using thigh instead of, say, breast? Well, I mean, you could use breast if you want. It's entirely up to you, but you've just got a little bit more leeway with thigh. You know, yeah. it keeps it nice and moist. I do enjoy a, a good thigh. <laughs> I think mine's more of a breast man, isn't he? Well, well, I'm anything, not sure any, about that. I'm any, not sure. Anything with chicken. <laughs> okay, right. uh, when, what, do, am I putting these somewhere? Yeah, right, so I've got a grill pan, so what you can do, yep. um, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there, and we're going to get it nice and warm, but over a medium heat, and then you, this top part of the uh, thigh, we want to turn yep. that on okay. and put that onto the so, um, griddle. So, uh, any, any which way? Yeah, any way, because okay. we can cross it if you right. want. So, a nice sizzle there, but we want to keep a nice medium heat, okay? Right. If the heat's too high, you're going to caramelise that sugar too fast, so we're going to build up that colour. Awesome. Right, and then I've got a little um, little wok on the side, and I'm just going to do a really quick um, stir-fry vegetables. So we've got some carrots, so we're going to start off with the carrots because they're, um, you know, they're a bit chunkier, the harder, they take longer yep. to cook, so they go in first. I've got a little bit of um, red onion here, I've got some beans, and, you, and the beauty with this is you can do this with whatever you've got, you know, lying around in the fridge, you know. You might just have like a handful of beans which have just gone down the back, you know, yeah. which are, you know, uh, not, honestly, not rotting. <laughs> but not enough for a meal. You can go, right, we'll add it to some carrots. Yeah. We'll add that. Stir fry is one of our favourite ways to use up stuff in the house. It's usually sort of a Thursday night thing when I start thinking about, uh oh, but what have we got left? Yeah, exactly. But it's yeah. great, you know, a little bit of carrots, some beans in there, some red onions, you know, you could put some, you could put your little bits of garlic and ginger in there if yeah. you wanted. Um, I've got some shiitake mushrooms, we'll throw those in there. Oh, I don't think I've got enough skewers, so we're just doing three at this stage, is that all right? And if you run out of skewers, you can just pop it on. Just throw it in yeah. there? Yeah, exactly, you know, you can Back do whatever you pan. want. I've got a little oh. bit of coriander to garnish, and then a really quick sauce yep. over your vegetables, once, you know, after about two or three minutes, once they're nearly cooked, um, I've got some um, uh, sesame oil, yep. soy sauce, oyster sauce, I'm going to put a splash of water in, just almost deglaze it, coat it, serve it straight away, Yum. really fast. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. We're going to be serving this up before the end of the show. Mark serving up a skewers. Mark, how are they looking? Well, they look fantastic. The uh, sesame oil from the stir fry is just, uh, you know, you can smell that. There's a bit of kick on that chicken and, the, and it's very zesty as well. Oh, oh it smells delicious. Can't wait to tuck into these. What is on the menu tomorrow, Mark? Well, I'm joined by Chef to the Stars, Amber Rose, and we're going to be making buckwheat pancake.